Hi, in today's video we will discuss about the purpose of a diesel particulate filter. As you may probably know, diesel engines are much more harmful in terms of emissions compared to gasoline ones. And that's because of three main reasons. One is nitrogen oxides, the second is the particulate matter, and the third one is black carbon or black smoke that we see at the exhaust pipes. As a MOT tester, I can clearly see the difference between a car with a DPF and one without one. Cars equipped with DPF filters generally have smoke emissions equal to almost zero. However, manufacturers are pretty indulgent, so they allow us to have an opacity for the smoke of 0.5 meters at minus one. Just as a small comparison, diesel engines without a DPF are allowed to have smoke between 1.5 and 3 meters to minus one opacity. Diesel engines which fail the MOT emissions tests generally have smoke over 4 meters to minus one. So from 3 meters to minus one to nearly zero, it's a huge difference. Diesel engines emit 40 times more particulates compared to a gasoline engine. The DPF filters any particulates with a diameter between 2.5 and 10 microns. Now you'll probably wonder why are particulates so harmful to us? Well, first of all, they remain stuck in our throat or in our lungs and they significantly increase the probability of experiencing lung or throat cancer. So in order to reduce this, manufacturers came up with DPFs which proved to be pretty effective. When I disassembled a DPF a few months ago, I wore safety gloves, a safety jacket and a mask. Within several minutes, my entire skin beneath the safety equipment was red and itchy. I also had headaches for the entire day and I wore safety equipment. Imagine having a city like New York or London full of diesel cars and none of them having any DPF filters. I think that air wouldn't be breathable anymore. So starting from 2005, manufacturers introduced DPF filters on diesel cars. I think starting with 2010, more than 90% of the cars sold around the globe were equipped with diesel particulate filters. Now most of cars equipped with diesel particulate filters also come with AdBlue, which helps reduce the amount of nitrous oxides. The EGR or exhaust gas recirculation also helps reduce nitrous oxides, but I'll cover that in a separate video. As you would expect, the diesel particulate filters would fill up pretty quickly from time to time. Basically, particulates remain stuck in the diesel particulate filter and we need to get rid of them. To do that, we need to burn them. This is called a regeneration and we have three main types of DPF regeneration. One, spontaneous regeneration. Second is dynamic regeneration. And the third one is service regeneration. Generally speaking, DPFs do their regeneration by themselves if you drive on the highway or so. But to do that, they need to reach the optimum operating temperature, which is over 600 degrees Celsius. If you only drive for short distances and you don't reach that temperature, the regeneration would be postponed. If the DPF really needs a regeneration and you constantly avoid it by shutting down the engine, a light will appear in your instrument cluster. And that's when you enter the dynamic regeneration. You basically need to allow the engine to run until that light turns off. If you shut down the engine and you don't allow the DPF to regenerate in dynamic mode, it will start flashing and you would probably need to see a car service as soon as possible. The service regeneration is done manually through a scan tool. The DPF needs to manually reach 600 degrees Celsius to burn all that matter. If you don't go to a car service to manually regenerate the particulate filter, you have 100% chances to completely damage it. Replacing the diesel particulate filter is over $1,500, so pay attention to its regenerations. And also pay attention if you really need a diesel or not. The DPF loves a specific number of RPM and the magic number is around 3000 RPM. So if you want to regenerate the particulate filter in dynamic mode, drive for 10 to 20 kilometers at 3000 RPM constantly, no matter what gear you're in. The lifetime of a DPF filter is around 200,000 kilometers, but it really depends on the driving style and the conditions. If you only drive on the highway, your DPF would maybe withstand around 400,000 kilometers. If you drive only around town, 
for short distances and you don't allow the DPF to regenerate, you may have problems with it in within 30,000 kilometers. I have actually seen cars with lots of problems at nearly 50,000 kilometers. So this is the purpose of a diesel particulate filter. It filters particles, black smoke, we have less emissions and it makes our air cleaner. If you have anything else to add, please feel free to write in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.